Welcome back. Lesson 47, Free Code Counts HTML and CSS section. This lesson is prioritize one style over another. Sometimes your HTML elements will receive multiple styles that conflict with one another. For example, your H1 element can't both be green and pink at the same time. Let's see what happens when we create a class that makes text pink, then apply it to an element. Will our class override the body element's color green CSS property? Create a CSS class called pink text that gives an element the color pink. Give your H1 element the class of pink text. So first we're creating a class called pink text. So in our style, doesn't matter which one you do first, but remember, uh, we're going to create a class called pink text. I guess we could first create it over here in our h1 element. We create a class that equals pink text. So right now this class doesn't really do anything because we haven't told our style uh, tag to do anything with it. So to do that, we need to go into our style. It doesn't matter if we, you know, put it at the top or you could put it under your body uh, your body selector here so since it's a class we have to remember to put the dot and then pink text the body doesn't take a a period because it's an actual element so like h1 you wouldn't need a, a period a p tag you wouldn't um, but since this is a class we created, you put the period. So then we would put our curly braces and the code in here is going to affect um, any element that has the class of pink text. So we want to give it, uh, what is it, a uh, color pink element, the color pink. So it doesn't say background color, so I'm assuming it's just color and do pink so as you can see it overrode the color green that the body that the body um, has applied to it so give your h1 the class of pink text so down here the instructions tell us your h1 element should have the class pink text your style should have a pink text css class with its color set to pink your H1 element should be pink. So that should be it for this lesson. Okay.